Campaigning is continuing for all the political parties ahead of May's European Parliament elections at the end of May. Here on The Brief from Brussels, we're profiling each of the political groupings, and this is the turn of the Socialists and Democrats party who are predicted to lose seats from the European Parliament. A socialist success in Spain's election may spark fresh positivity within the political movement in Europe. Together, the socialists make up the second largest grouping in the EU Parliament. You may be familiar with some of them. Foreign Policy Chief Federica Mogherini here, among the star faces of the Party of European Socialists, or PES for short, taking centre stage on big issues like the Iran nuclear deal. The European Union regrets today's statement by the President of the United States of America on the nuclear deal with Iran. The nuclear deal with Iran is crucial for the security of the region, of Europe and of the entire world. Founded in 1992, the Party of European Socialists is one but representing many. Drawing together Socialist, Social Democrat, Labour and Democratic parties from Europe and Norway. Sounds big, but Socialist numbers have, in reality, been waning. Right now they hold power in less than a quarter of all 28 EU member states. Seven, in fact. Portugal, Spain, Sweden, Finland, Malta, Slovakia and Romania. Fewer in number after France, Belgium and Italy dropped out of Club Rouge. In the last EU elections back in 2014, the PES swept up 191 seats in the European Parliament. But projections have shown their political group, known as the Progressive Alliance of Socialists and Democrats, may not do so well this time around. This is Franz Timmermans. He's from the Party of European Socialists, and as second in charge at the European Commission, he's now vying to become European Commission President. He's taken on some of the biggest challenges and overseen some of the most controversial responses that the EU has seen in years. Migration among them, that political hot potato, which has driven a stake into the heart of the bloc. More than half of the people who arrive here in Europe are people who come from countries where you can be sure that they have no reason to ask for asylum. The socialists say Europe needs a fair, common asylum system and migration policy based on shared responsibility and solidarity. The EU's seen a pact with Turkey slammed, quotas rejected and rescue ships turned away. Franz Timmermans has also taken on rule of law, seen as weakening amongst Eastern European members and in Malta under a socialist government. His assessment in 2017 of Malta no general concerns, not shared by many other EU politicians. The socialists have effectively frozen relations with Romania's ruling socialist party over the same issue. Socialists are revved up for the EU elections, but having suffered election setbacks across Europe, the question is, will they have enough power to climb the mountain that lies ahead of them? The Socialists and Democrats will be trying to grow their number of seats in the European Parliament. And here on The Brief from Brussels, we'll be taking a look at the other political groupings.